Recorded Church Confessional, Chapter 1, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned, I guess, or whatever, so I raped a man in a Taco Bell restroom about two weeks ago, and it was intense, it was like feeding an anaconda into a beehive, it was fucking nuts, also, I did this while taking the Lord's name in vain. In fact, we were both yelling a lot of profanity. He should be here confessing as well. Whatever. I also pissed my family off recently. I was a dinner guest at my aunt's house. When we finished eating, I said, Excuse me for a moment, my beloved family. Dinner was most delightful. But I now need to blow this tuna casserole out of my anus. And I then went to the front yard, and I shit all over the azaleas. It was like shooting a jellyfish out of a super soaker gun. Oh man. And last Tuesday I raped a homeless man. I dove penis first into his cardboard house. And it was kind of like the Kool-Aid guy exploding into some jack-off's living room. Except, instead of handing out Kool-Aid drinks, I fuck a dude in his ass. Oh yeah, and I can tell that this guy's life is totally hitting rock bottom right now. On account of my dick in his butt, that's some hallmark shit right there. Oh well, whatever, oh. And on Friday, I harassed the same homeless man that I raped earlier in the week. And I'm pretty sure he hates me. I was like, why you always smell like trash, bro? And he was like, please leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. Why are you doing these things to me? And I say, um, yeah. So you're like a trash factory, huh? I know what you need. Here, check it out, pal. It's Mr. Winky. And I show him my penis. I'm like, how about I give you a shower, you trash faggot? And I pissed all over him. And I made him thank me when I was done. Oh, and guess what happened on Wednesday? I was doing science in the kitchen with my mom's dildos. Dildo science it was. I taped a dildo to each blade of the ceiling fan. To see how long they'd stay there with the fan on full speed. It was going completely bonkers. So I decided to do an experiment. I lob the toaster up into the air. And the fan pulverizes it. Sending that shit flying out the back door. And I hear a car alarm go off like six houses away. Oh man, that toaster got its shit science big time bro. Well, my dad comes into the kitchen to get more beer. Because he's nowhere near drunk enough to mentally cope with having me for a son. So he's standing there next to the fridge. Holding like 20 bottles of beer. Well, I guess it was just the perfect storm. All the right ingredients, you know. Maybe even God's will. I don't know. But what I do know is that every single robber penis taped to that ceiling fan comes loose. And it was five murderously fast dildos screaming towards my dad's head. The doctor said he was lucky to have survived. He had a concussion and a cranium fracture. I learned that day the power of a science dildo and how it should never be toyed with. So whatever. Okay. And I had another inappropriate dream last week. I was in the restroom. Pummeling my privates to a picture of Hillary Clinton in a Reader's Digest magazine. When I notice how stupid the shower curtain looks. It's all flannel and jeans. What a faggot. So I start talking smack to the shower curtain. 
and I call it a faggot like twenty-seven times, but the curtain gets mad, it gets all up in my business, and it has a mustache, and it's wearing a rocker hat, it's my dad, oh man, it's not a shower curtain at all, and I'm like, wow, I'm really freaking stupid, and so my dream dad kicks my ass, and I wake up, and I realize that I've pissed in my bed again, like a disgusting jackass, and I become angry, because I'm so disappointed in myself, so I start yelling at my penis, I call it a faggot like 48 times, but my yelling wakes up my dad, and he is royally pissed. He flies into my room like a giant dildo shot out of a cannon, and he kicks my ass proper, and I find it very interesting that I got my ass beat by both my dream dad and my real dad in the same night. How neat.